So, part three of AIM, and to try and help us along a little bit to progress through the stream and make progress, I spent about an hour this morning just playing around with some different ideas. And I'm happy to report I have been able to get a cube, not the cube I want, but a cube into the exit area. And I am able to activate the panels in the exit area and that one up there. So, I just got to try and remember how I did that now. Uh, now, I say a cube, not particularly the one that we wanted. It's because the one I have actually got over there is, unfortunately, or fortunately, unfortunately, the, um, this one, the orange one. But I think once i got a cube in there, I can probably do some swapping and bits and pieces. So, what I actually need to do in the short term here... I need to be able to get all of this set up again. So, let me see if I can remember exactly what I did. I think it was a case of changing this now to here. I'm pointing that one over there. I think that was it. So, we do this. And somewhere over there, as you can see, our cube is now in there. So, this is what I got to. And then I made some additional moves after this. Whereby I then also got the cube, the red cube up there. So if I can remember how I got back to that state again, then we should be pretty peachy. And I think, if I remember rightly, it shouldn't be too difficult because it's almost exactly the same as what we did in early game here. So we'll take this one. We'll respawn that from there. And then we're able to use this cube so uh, that's a good question as why does it look so familiar to you it's a mystery nobody knows it's been a mystery since the beginning of the week all right so now we have that we then do that which allows us to get this cube. Then I'm going to do that, followed by that. Take this cube through. Oh, I didn't change that. That's, um... Ah! I didn't change the cube. Alright, well, looks like we're setting things up again, then. It's my own fault. I don't know if you caught what I was saying at the beginning of the stream, uh, Atom. But uh, I spent a bit of time off camera playing around with some different ideas. So I'm just bringing the puzzle up to the state, which I believe is progress right now. And so now I need to change this one. We go to there. Right now we should be able to do it. That. We verify that that's in the right place. Now we take the red through. We 
this, we do this, we do that. And I didn't move the portal, did I? That was dumb of me. But luckily we managed to get away with it, so no harm done. Gotta reopen the We've got to reopen the portal um, to fire the cube up top to get it up into the position where it will give us those extra portal surfaces and different bits and pieces. So now we can press the button. Now that's been sent. Okay, so this is going to be my new um, active save from here. Somebody mentioned, uh, as you probably saw in the comments, somebody did mention about the number of cubes in the area. Sometimes has something to do with it. Um, not the number of cubes, the number of like bits of glass and things that it has to go through. And I just wondered if like grating counts as two. Somebody did say if it goes, th it can't go through three panes of glass, which I wasn't aware of. And I don't know if that is. Um, the truth or, or if there's more to it than that but it's definitely interesting to note all right so now we have this so this gives us new opportunities because now we have a panel there and we don't necessarily need that cube there anymore because this one we've always got access back into here now this is more helpful this is definitely more helpful for us it allows us, even when things aren't quite looking right. I'm going to stop waffling there because I am waffling. Alright, so what do we do now? What do we do now? So, um, I think our end goal is... My original end goal was to have... The yellow cube in here and we were looking for a way to send that yellow cube into this side weren't we but now that we've already got a cube in here like this we might not need to do that so thinking here if i need to get out of this room with a portal in here we're going to have to use the other cube anyway Now, what if we respawn the red cube? Because I don't really think there's a great deal we can do from here now, is there? We can't move or do anything with that cube, so the only way to now re-access that cube would be with red, although we could access it from up there. Maybe that is what I do. Okay, let's play with this. Let's play with this idea here then. So, we can come down here. Crazy, thank you very much for the host. Much appreciated. Okay. Okay. So, in an ideal salute, in an ideal world, we'd want to have a cube over here, wouldn't we? We can do that. We can totally do that with red. Oh. Uh Actually, this would be trapping situation. I would have to re not trapping situation, but I'd have to respawn cubes to get out of here. Uh, eventually, crazy. Yeah, I'm just we're just sort of because it's like relatively new. We're just still kind of playing around with things and see what works best at the moment. But yeah, definitely in the future we will be looking to add more things uh, to that. All right, so.
let's go back a step this because that didn't make any sort of progress for us at all. could respawn the yellow cube, but that doesn't really do anything different for me. I think now I've got to respawn red. I think that's got to be the, the next move. And then with red respawn, we can get this back into play. to get this into place and maybe this is the problem that doesn't seem like the right thing to do maybe there's a way to drop that panel So where is that? That's still pointing over to that one. So we can we can actually open this up still, maybe. Um, why would that one be pointing there? Surely we're pointing at the receiver, no? I didn't move it, did I? I did move it when I was tinkering. Maybe I did. Let's de-tinker for now. through the air and then all of a sudden you hit one of those freaking bumps and sends you flying. Alright. That was that. Okay, so now I can use what I did before. Oh, can I though? I need to respawn the cube. I can't reactivate that field. Alright, so is there a way, once I've done this, is there a way that I can change I change the position of this cube while maintaining portals? the next question. If that cube was back here, then the answer is yes. Okay, so let's see what we can do differently here. Got to do that because we need to... I'll do that because we need to keep back and we need to be able to access the middle area. Alright, so that's going to do that. 
And the other one needs to point to this type. These, these, needs to point to these, this, to open up this one. He's all right, uh, Mika. Okay. Do we do these? Different atom? Wait, we got we, have we got imposter atoms around? Pretty cool nine one one. Got an imposter atom. So this would get me around this problem. That's there. That's there. Respawn the cube. Open that. That. Sendificate this. Okay. So from here, my issue was it was where that cube was pointing, right? I overwrite my save. Now we go through here and we place this cube on this button. Seems intuitive and and like something good to try, but I don't know. It seems a bit too out there. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I was trying to think of like a, a different name for my Twitch not so long ago because. Um, oh, wait a second. So that's not going to work anyway. I'm Perk Green. Welcome to stream. Hope you're well. Yeah, I was. I was. I've been thinking about like dropping like the like the latter part of my name because nobody ever calls me by my first name, and I just wanted to like revert back to Knock. But somebody already has Knock. They only have like three followers or subscribers or whatever. So, um, who's there, Rector? Who's there, Rector? <laughs> kind of blue. It's kind of broke the joke straight away, isn't it? Peace. Hey, people, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, yeah, my speaking is all over the place right now. You see, everything I do now. doesn't seem to benefit me in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, like that. So, because that was taken, I was trying to think also of, like, alternatives that I could have used, but nothing at the moment has really come to light. A 
I mean, something different that we could do here is we could get the red cube. Can't get the red cube there though, can we? Nice, power green. Very nice. Yeah, but knock kind of, that sort of not crazy wouldn't work because like because of the whole thing behind my name and why my name is why it is. There is a specific reason behind it all, so um, that kind of doesn't really fit with the whole thing. I think that's a pretty. That's, I think that also. I think that's kind of like too big a change. Problem is, we go down here, and it's game over. Game over. Out the solution. That's it, right? That's totally illegal. <laughs> All right, so Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. I don't know, it was just a thought I was having at the time. Um, this can I because the minute I walk through there I lose a portal so What am I trying to do to progress in the map? What's going on in the professional? Um, so, my understanding of the map solution is what I believe I need to do is yellow cube in here, portal there, and portal in there. Press the button, walk through portals, come and stand on here. The reason that's on a timer so that, that will spoil, uh, fizzle that and send me up. 
And then I'll also need to have a cube on that portal there, because that one opens the exit door. So my next... My next goal is... See, the, the problem that's plagued me this entire, like, playthrough... Good on, Mike. Um, is the fact that I can't do anything with the yellow cube other than have it in this area here and that area in there. If I could get the yellow cube in there, things would be different. I mean, now that I've got this... Do I now just work, ignore all the fact I've got all of this? Respawn... Maybe I... Alright, so let's, let's do something. Let's go back to basics. The basics... Name the artist. Dance song from about 2005-2006. Name the artist, win a prize. Who sang Back to Basics in the mid-noughties? We're not who sang. So it's a bit of a dance tune, so we released Back to Basics. Yeah, but the whole reason is like it's a play on to play on the original name, so that's where the original thing came about. Uh, I think that does it, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do it. Right, so. It was just a thought process I was going through a while ago to maybe change it, but I'm not... I mean, I'm not particularly bothered. I can't change it, but... I'm pretty sure at this this point, anyway, a lot of... Shit. A lot of people already know my real name anyway, so... I'm not too bothered about that being exposed. That's what I wanted to do there. This now allows me to get red back into here. Not red. Um, yellow, sorry. So we're done, right? Just get that on that button and we're done. Right, that's it. Easy, simple. But this is the age-old problem here, whereby... My issue has always been... What can I do with this cube now? Back to basics again. We can 
do so much. But that's where we get stuck. So, the only way around that... I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy, but... We'd have gone in here before. I mean, we can see that from there. We'd have put that there. Could we do different things? The issue with what I had there was I wouldn't be able to get the red cube out. So, that's not what we're looking for. Not the cubes you are looking for. Alright, so. I love that. I love it when... Uh, But, alright, so now again, problem is, um, problem with this being, we go over and respawn red, because we can't do anything with yellow. Red goes over here. Instantly, we have a problem. Big, the big killer is like the... Big killer is the laser field. And like, like I've like said, like a lot of the way through this playthrough is that I think the, the soul of all hinged on like bringing this yellow cube into play more, but I just don't know how to do that. The yellow cube is very isolated in that central area. Nationalized railways. Sorry, dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. about the yellow cube. What, like, when you say I'm right about the yellow cube, you're right that I need it for the exit, or you're right that, like, it feels isolated in this middle and I need to bring it into play more. 
which are you referring to? This doesn't help me at all. The fact that that cube is all the way over there doesn't help me at all. The fact that lasers can't go through glass panels doesn't help me at all. I see lots of problems and not many solutions. Doing this is like just deadly because the only thing you can now do is to undo the whole thing. better positioned I could do something like this if this would help me wait I'm entitled to two hints I could do this, right? Let's me out of here. I think the only the only hint or the only question I have is at this point of the puzzle, is is this a what well, is this a point of the puzzle? With the orange cube in there, and regardless of whether or not the red cube's there or not, is that getting the orange cube in there is that part of the puzzle? Yes or no? That's probably the only question I would I would ask at this point. feeling really confident when I went into this today as well because I'd like spent that extra time this morning going over bits and pieces and finding out like how to get a cube in that other area I was like really pumped oh hold on a minute though hold on a minute Yes, orange is part of the puzzle and it has a role, yes. And I believe the role is to do... Alright, so... Uh, what do we do? Let's go here. What if I was to use... This is my new thought here, new, new thought process. And that kind of kills that. But what if it was to... Can orange be used to sendificate a cube into that area? That would be something I haven't done yet. So to do that, 
I have to leave that there for now. And then we start again with red and yellow. This one will go. I need a cube in here though, so maybe let's try and put a cube in here. Not sure about this. Not feeling confident. There's a special. F is there a special formula to find out the map rating? Uh, good question. I don't know why I would need to use that though to get a cube in here. thinking though however um, I was thinking about could I redirect from there into a surface but I can't because None of the lasers for the centrifugators are on ground level. So I can't actually manipulate. Uh, what else can I use that cube for? Cube in there. I don't see how that would be helpful though. Um, I mean, well, recording time has been about 45 minutes crazy. See, it's it's difficult. I don't think I want to put the cube on the conductive plate yet. Because doing that, like, just totally kills the centre of the map. I have no control over the centre if I do that. Uh, fully within 53 minutes, so... 
Um, probably about. What would that be? About, about 10 to 1, I think, it's tired. Oh, my first ever stream. Oh, jeez, now you're asking. Um, um, a long time ago. I've lived in this house for. I've lived in this house for five years this year. And. Hold my daughter. My daughter is seven next month. I was working at my mother in law's a bit before that. Um, started streaming when I like, moved to work at my mother in law's because I had better internet there than I was at like home. So it would be about um, 2013, 2014, around there. I know I started YouTube in 2010. First YouTube video was 2010. So. Um, does it not say I'm like the about page or something on Twitch? How long you've been doing stuff? I don't know. I'm wondering if I had a cube here, though. I mean, yeah, that... I can see that from here, but... I've only got access to the red cube in here at the moment, haven't I? So... Broken record, man. Some of Frankie's advanced maps or something else. So. definitely started to do more portal um, videos when I moved into this house which was just over five years ago but I'm pretty sure I've been streaming and playing I whenever I when, whenever I bought portal I know I was at my work at mother-in-law's at the time and I'll be brutally honest I've never even heard of Portal back in 2014, 2015, whenever I picked it up. I just picked it up as like part of a big bundle and just instantly fell in love with it. I think I even played Portal 2 before I played Portal 1. Or I finished Portal 2 at least before I finished Portal 1, so... Uh, I don't know what to do with the orange cube. But in order to do anything with it, I've got to keep this portal set here. Tossing's not allowed in this map. Sorry, I'll just do that. Follow the map makers' rules. If I was to point this over there. That gets me around that issue there, right, doesn't it? Then I could change this to point to the other button. Like I've been doing like this. I mean, I'd heard of Half-Life. I, I, I remember... I don't know when, when did Half-Life come out? 
I can't quite remember. I do remember playing um, Half-Life at university. I think it was like even my second or fi final year. And they had um, Steam in some of the computer rooms there. And I remember playing like the like beginning of Half-Life 2. So I remember like the whole train station thing. But that's basically pretty much all I'd ever seen of those games. I don't think doing anything with this and pointing over there is what I need to do. Because the problem we've been running into constantly here is um, we can't see that from there. What about the second one, Mick? I'm guessing the second one must have been like early to mid 2000s. If I play, if I remember playing at a university, because I graduated in 2008, so. I don't know, I'm proper stumped. I don't particularly want to ask for a hint, but... Oh jeez, you're making me feel old now. step we've done like 10,000 times already. What was the plan here, guys? Wasn't the plan to do something like this. Maybe. I wish we could go back to 1985. Oh, that was a good year. <laughs> Don't know what's 
good about it, but it was good, yeah. So... Did a thing. But I can't do any other things. Well, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit frustrated and a little bit disappointed in myself. Because I honestly thought, having like worked out that step earlier on this morning with the orange cube, that I would be making a bit more progress. But we've literally just done that and then stopped dead in the tracks again. I mean, it's alright doing that, but there's no way to... I kind of want to bring that over to here, right? But that blocks that angle there. The only way to open that would be from there, but if I take that off the button, that shuts up, and then I can't use that orange cube, so... happened right try just stepped away from it see if anything would come not looking 
screen, I think. If you could make a hint like relatively vague atom and go right ahead. But obviously try not to give too much away if that's possible. There's a general cube in the map that cannot be lost in your possession. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Obviously, we've got the... cube that we could always do something with is of course the we can always do something with the red cube because we can wherever we send the red cube we can get that one back on this side the only cube on this side of the map the orange cube is the hardest to respawn because you have to have a cube in that top area to go through and then you have to go through fizzlers to respawn that cube. And the yellow cube is just a pain in the ass because you can't do a lot with it at all. I 
I almost think like the next I almost think the next task is have I jumped ahead too much See, I almost wonder if I've made a mistake in that orange cube should be in the area on the left, not the right. And then I send the red cube to the area on the right. What did the yellow cube do to me? It pissed me off, that's what it did. It didn't do a lot. <laughs> Alright, so what if then? I playing what if. Uh, Alright, so here's one I prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier as they used to say on that famous BBC Kids Press show. Okay, so, um, what do I want to do? What did I want to do? Get her out here. So, we spawn that. That's going to go in there. Then we do things and stuff and stuff and things. Sure, we'll be good. That's probably good. I think we'll be good. All right, get over there. Get over there. Ah, I don't have my butt on my channel. Crazy. Okay, so that's that and that's that. So now we're going to want to do... like when I first started out but I don't see the point in having like lots of different bots on the channel do anything so right so maybe I don't have this on here first see this is this is where ordering gets like a bit messy Uh, 
Uh, I don't run my personal bot anymore. I just literally use um, the Streamlabs one, which is um, probably known as um, Orc bot, I think it was. Orc bot. Streamlabs took it over when Orc, the Orc bot developer stopped working on it. So that's the one I use. Many like moons ago, we used to have. Um, I did have a personal bot that I wrote myself and used to do different bits and pieces, but yeah, like I said, we don't. A virtual knock is just um, connected to my Streamlabs bot. Streamlabs allows you to have um, a bot account as well as a um, your regular account connected to it. So I'll check. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Do that. That. Do that. Do this. Oh, this is the problem we had before, though, wasn't it? But that can be easily remedied, I think, by just doing this instead. Why am I rerouting over there? I could simply just route that across to there. Okay. But you see, there's nothing for us because now we don't have a way to get into there, nor do we have a way to send a cube into there. That's again, that's another, it's another stalemate situation. So, yeah. Day three of aim and uh, still stuck down the rabbit hole. Alright guys, well, I'm going to have to end it there. Unfortunately, we've already ran over time by about 12 minutes. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow with part four of AIM, seeing if we can make any more progress on it at all. Uh, let's see if anybody's online that I can throw a raid to. Uh, we'll throw one over to Subs, who is doing some Resident Evil 2 world record speedrun attempts. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and raid subs in a moment. Thanks everybody though for tuning in. I appreciate it. We're back tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Goodbye.